1996 Trans Am WS6. It's got an LT1 in it. Um, built transmission. I've already got the engine pulled out of it. And uh, today I am going to do an inspection. For the last few months, I've had a misfire problem that I haven't been able to diagnose. I've traced down wires, I've traced down sensors, mechanical parts. I've looked through literally everything that can cause a misfire. And um, finally, come to find out, my crankshaft is wobbling. So when the crankshaft wobbles, your sensor up here does not get a good reading um, of the crankshaft wobbling or spinning. And so it sends an improper signal to the ECU. Um, for timing, for sparking, and, and uh, fuel. So it's been causing a high RPM misfire. And so what I needed to do was check the bearings to see if that was an issue, why it was wobbling. Uh, come to find out, bearing number one, I pulled the pan off in the car, found that the, the first bearing was completely destroyed. That groove is really, really bad. Real, real bad. So that first bearing shot, I'm about to find out today how many other bearings are shot, if the rest of the engine is toast or not. The car still ran great, it just, um, it's it, the misfire, the higher pin misfire got worse and worse. What do you think about me rebuilding this engine again? I know that you're uh, disappointed in the second time. You're just putting money into it. Hey, give me the 600 bucks, you're just gonna throw it away. That's a money hunger, yeah. Get rid of it, man. Great so, example of what not to do when you're building an engine in the garage is to stir up the dust. Oh yeah, you can that see that on the video. There's we're hairs the, flying around, there's little... Where <laughs> we begin? Alright, let's begin. Make sure you always have your proper PPE. You got your safety goggles in it? I ain't got no safety goggles. <laughs> Just to kind of explain this build a little bit, um, I actually rebuilt this engine two years ago and it took a shit on me already. So um, first of all, I have a new throttle body. I have the intake manifold and the heads ported. Um, biggest mistake I made on this whole rebuild a couple of years ago was not getting it done by a proper shop. Um, they didn't even give me flow charts. Um, they pretty much just told me like, yep, we cleaned it up. We cleaned up the ports. Like all that they would do is probably just like open up this hole a little bit, maybe polish it. Um, but I didn't notice any difference of the, the actual, um, the size, the diameter. So I think all they did was polish it. They didn't give me any flow charts. So I'm not super confident in the work that they did. Um, so definitely this time around with this engine rebuild, I'm going to make sure I get the heads done right. Um, anybody who's done work on LT ones knows about Lloyd Elliott. He's in Texas. Highly recommend him for any kind of like heads or cam work. Um, I'm going to be going with the LE2 package. So he's going to give me uh, new valves. He's going to give me a bigger cam. My goal is to rev close to 7,000. I'll probably be up upwards around like 6,800 uh, to be safe on the bottom end. Um, so that's going to include needing to port the heads. We need the bigger cam. We need the bigger valves. And then we might bump up the compression a little bit to make some more power um, with a thinner head gasket. And then um, I'm not sure how Lloyd Elliott works his magic with the, with the combustion chambers, but he might be um, making those a little bit bigger for more air too. But I'm not exactly sure how that works. And then I'm obviously going to send in my intake manifold. He charges like a little bit extra to do that with the head. So totally worth it. Um, depending on what cam you get, you can make like an extra like 20 to 30 horsepower just by porting your intake manifold. So totally well worth the money. Just got to ship it out there and he's going to take care of you for you. And then on the bottom end, my plan here is to obviously make it safe enough to be able to rev that high, to be able to accommodate for the, the high revving cam. Um, but I still want to make a, a good like amount of bottom end power. So uh, what we're going to do is replace the crankshaft because um, I'll show you a, a little bit later once we get into the, um, the teardown uh, what happened to this crankshaft, but it's actually one of the bearings completely took a shit. So we're going to be replacing the crankshaft. I'm going to do an inspection on the rods, the piston to see like if there's any damage from the metal that got from the crankshaft into the rest of the engine. Just kind of assessing damage, figuring out what needs to be cleaned, what needs to be replaced. Um, but obviously the whole thing needs to be cleaned. The whole block needs to be stripped and cleaned. 